Good morning, uh, Glenn Dromgill, Tier 1 Engineering. I'm the principal of the organization and this is the ER44 helicopter. It's an all-electric modification of the Robinson R44 helicopter. We started the project in 2015, so it's been going on for six years. This is our second generation of the ER44. We're currently working on a third generation of the electric uh, Robinson and taking it through to certification. So the first version, Bird 1, was a technology demonstrator and that used commercial off-the-shelf battery and motor technology. Since that time, we have applied for a certif uh, opened a project with the FAA for certification. It's an SDC, a supplementary type certification so it modifies the original type set of the Robinson R44 for all electric propulsion. So in doing that, we have been developing certifiable hardware, the components that make up the electric propulsion system, the battery, the motor, the motor controller, and the cockpit display. The engine in this helicopter uh, behind us is a commercial off-the-shelf motor supplied by Yasser. Uh, an English company and their motors were specifically developed for automotive applications. One of the challenges is they didn't understand the regulatory requirements for aviation, particularly single fault failures. So we've partnered with Magnex who are developing an aviation specific electric motor and we believe uh, they're one of the leading companies in, in the field and on the next version, Bird 3, uh, we'll be incorporating uh, an early model of their, the Magnex engine, the Magni 250. We'll be doing demonstrator flights and, and developmental work with that. And then later this year, we'll receive the first certifiable motor, the, the Magni 350, and we'll be integrating that in uh, as we move towards certification. The Lycoming engine on this uh, helicopter here turns at 2700 RPM and that drives the sheaves and the belt system. One of the nice things about the Magni motors is they also turn at a very similar RPM so they're essentially a drop-in replacement for the Lycoming. Uh, on Bird 2, the aircraft behind me, we didn't have that type of engine available and those engines turn at 6000 RPM and that's very common for an electric motor to spin at that higher RPM. So we had to develop a reduction gearbox to reduce that down to the Lycoming speed of around 2700. And then by adding the gearbox, we added complexity to the system. We added weight, uh, another source of failure. So it's nice to be able to move away from that with the Magni motor, have a direct drive and uh, a drop-in replacement for the OEM motor. Our intent is to do the modification at the first overhaul at 2200 hours and that is a fairly expensive overhaul as it stands uh, requiring several hundred thousand of uh, parts and labour and we feel that would be an opportune time to implement the, the kit. Our primary customer is United Therapeutics for organ delivery. There will be no rear seats but there will be a, a a cargo space for the organs. We anticipate a 20% reduction in operating cost of the aircraft. Uh, it does have a lower noise signature of 15 to 20% less, less noise. There's possibly some improvements in fatigue life of the, of the airframe with lower vibration. It's very smooth in flight. Uh, so there may be some perform uh, performance improvements in, uh, in the fatigue life and, uh, and the life limits of some of the components uh, of this uh, particular model. For market, we think it's a great training aircraft. Uh, we anticipate a, a one hour operating flight time for, on the certifiable design. Uh, it could be useful for short tours or, or charter flights um, and obviously personal use uh, in areas where there's limited uh, 
fuels. Um, one area that's of interest to us is Catalina Island. They don't have any fueling of avgas or um, any sort of jet fuels. And uh, we think for operation in islands and, and places where uh, fuel is a problem, environmental problem, electric uh, flight would be great.